Hey guys, what is going on? A Button Games here, back again. I know it took quite a while, but I had to re-record a whole bunch of stuff and re-edit a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said in my PS4 video, when I traded in my old PS4 for the PS4 Pro, I forgot to take like six hours of recorded footage for all of my games off of it, so it really, really sucks, but I'm getting back into swinging things. But So basically what I've been doing is on the side, I've been grinding my gems up a little bit, so what I want to do for this one is, since that's going to be kind of boring for you guys to watch, I'm going to do a Max Torment walkthrough of the game. I don't even know if I can do Max Torment on this guy because um, I'm sure they have a shit ton of health and my gems aren't like, you know, max level and all my equipment's not ancient or whatever, but we're going we're gonna to give it a go. So, um, we're, as you see, starting Act 1, the Fallen Star Torment 13. So, let's, uh, let's do it. I, uh, I don't think there was that beginning cutscene, so I was going to leave it in there for those of you who haven't seen it, but who the hell hasn't seen it at this point? Whoops. Haven't used this guy in a while. So, uh... <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. So, like I said, I don't know um, exactly, like, how tough these guys are going to be. I'm not obviously using my skills right now, so that's kind of why they're not dying, but we'll see. Like, I kind of uh, was screwing around, with it, screwing around with it a little bit, and I was able to do, like, a rift and stuff like that in the Max Torment, and the guys did do uh, quite a bit of damage to me, but uh, that's all stuff that I'll, it'll slowly go away as I um, get my gems up and things like that. So, let's see. The spirits tell me. Go, seek the cradle of the fallen star. And so, I am here. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. All right. Don't speak with Leah. Everyone, I'm sure, knows the story of this game at this point, so... But... <laughs> oh, there's more. Whoops. Thought I got him on. So, yeah, but you know, I've been a little bit uh, behind on videos and stuff. I do apologize for that. I also have a new thing I kind of want to try on the channel, so uh, be on the lookout for that video. It's only going to be like a three-minute video or something like that, but definitely be on the lookout for that because I think that could be a lot of fun if I can get some interaction from you guys. So please, please, please be on the lookout for that. I also don't know how far I'm going to get in this, but we'll see. You know, I'm, I'm not like playing to get to a certain point. I'm going to play the whole game. I don't know how far I'll get up. Try and keep the the videos relatively short, unless you guys want to see longer videos. Sorry for skipping that. Tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia. Watch out! The wounded are turning. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Jade Harvester builds, that's kind of what I'm using here. And basically, all you gotta do is you gotta haunt everyone. You want to hit them all with Locust Swarm too, which uh, cube power that I have on already does for me, so I don't have to waste mana on that. And then you just want to harvest all their souls and kill them all. It's it's not a very difficult build to use, but Witch Doctor in this type of build is a little bit fluffier than the other ones because my pets aren't always up. They're not really at 100% uptime, even though I do have the Belt of Transcendence on, so it's almost 100% uptime since I'm always using a mana spender, but, you know, you get the idea. The dead will overwhelm us all. Unless something is done. There is a deep sickness here, but it can be healed. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Will do. Captain Rumford. All right. Whoop. <laughs> I love that spirit walk, by the way. I love using that. That's great. That gets you out of so many uh, hairy situations. I admire your courage. Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Their sacrifice saved their people. I will honor it. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Not the barricades! Go for the wretched mothers, then. Red for the mothers. That's one of the wretched mothers. I thought I killed her. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Whoo! Can't you go so fucking fast with that? That's awesome. All right. Just gotta cast haunt all these guys. So, in Torment 13, this is 13. Whatever the hell Max is, I know it's Max. I think it's 13. Um, the one thing that's definitely different is that my pets definitely don't really kill guys anymore because these guys have like freaking billion health. So, uh, my pets aren't really able to just go around and just run through people. So. It means I have to do a little bit more of the work myself, but that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's part of the game. Oh, nice. Kill that guy in one hit. Oh, shit. Is my inventory really full? God damn it. 
Get over here. Die. Dead. Death. Kill. All dead. Where is that lady? There she is. What up? Bye bye. Bye bye. Piranhas is a really good one to use for this build because it kind of uh, rallies everyone together and stuff. So that's kind of why I have that out there. Um, you know, there are a lot of different variations to this build, but really, this one seems to work the best for me. I haven't really seen anything better, but I also haven't gotten to, like, the really, really high greater rifts yet to, uh, really, really have to focus my build and specialize it. In that case, I might have to switch to something maybe more defensive, but for right now, the damage buff and stuff from Piranhas, and it makes it easy for me to group everyone together and put Locust Swarm on them to do, to do the most damage that I possibly can, so that's kind of why I have that going. Blah. Damp Cellar. Aw, oh, yeah. What? Oh, I was gonna say, is there really no guys down here? That was kind of weird. I'm assuming that's the whole idea. You open the chest and they come, but it just seemed really, really strange. Dead. Death. Oh, whoops. I was gonna say, how the hell did I miss all those guys in my Soul Harvest? I think I was behind the pillar <laughs> and just somehow missed them all. Also, um, you know, leave me a comment below if you have an issue with my my voice, like the volume of my voice, the volume of the game. It is a new PlayStation, so I do have to tweak it a little bit with the inputs and output volumes, but I kind of did a few test videos to see, um, you know, when things get really chaotic on the screen, the game might be a little bit loud. I'll try my best to edit around that, so, I mean, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but hopefully, um, you know, hopefully it won't be too much of an annoyance for you guys as you guys are trying to watch this. But, you know, that's why if you, if you let me know by the time I make the first video, then I can fix it for all the other videos, so... Definitely keep that in mind. Die, die, die. Aw, oh, yeah. Kill the wretched queen at the old ruins. Let's go. Bitch. She vomit that guy up. Take that back. I don't know what the hell it's did 27 billion damage to that guy. I didn't use my uh, thing. That was kind of weird. I think it's that thing that consumes haunt on people every now and then. Like, I think my Jade Harvester consumes Haunt on people, which is obviously what does the damage, but I think sometimes it's a little delayed for the people that it hits. So, maybe that's where all that damage came from, because I have no idea otherwise. Perfect, I gotta go back to town anyways, because I gotta, uh, clean out my inventory like a goddamn noob. Who starts, who starts a playthrough in a video with a full inventory? What a fucking idiot. I'm just an idiot, that's all. Yeah. You. Glad I can use the blacksmith already. Have some stuff in my inventory for some builds I was going to try out for a video, so... That'll be fun. For Why am I, like... What is so overburdened here? Interesting. Do I just have, like, a shit ton of items? Really? I guess. Ah, uh, alright, I guess I'll throw most of the stuff in the stash for now. Oh, whoops. Talk some sense into Leah. She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Boom! Yeah, that's right, bitch. Nor should she. <laughs> this is gonna, like, fill the hell up out of my stash, but I'll go through it in a later time. I just don't want to have to keep, uh, coming back and emptying out my inventory. Yeah, I did have a shit ton of- God. What an idiot. What a noob. No! That's the opposite. That's that's like the opposite of what I need to do. Okay, 16 items, that's fine. Leia, what's up? Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. All right, let's go to Adria's hut. Let's go trash that place. Open the door, because all this magic that I have, I can't open a keypad. Or turn invisible with my spirit walk thing and just walk through it. But, you know, I'm not I'm not here to judge the video game logic, so... Alright, we gotta build up our 10 stacks here. That's that's where all the damage comes from, is when I have the 10 stacks of uh, Jade Harvester. And then I just go and I just fuck shit up. Yeah! Get fucked, bro. Dead. 37 billion damage off of freaking haunt consumption. I like it. Huh! <laughs> Yeah, she did. 
Why would someone lie about being a witch, though? Like, why is that something that you would lie about? Isn't that not a very desirable thing, usually? Like, aren't witches usually... People usually want to kill witches, so why would someone lie about being a witch? I guess I'm just gonna stand right in the middle of that and almost die, is, is kind of what I'm going for there. In case you guys were wondering, that's how you play like a true professional. You just pay no attention while you're giving commentary and almost die. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. <sighs> I would find Deckard. Never read a woman's journal, man. That's just wrong. We may have Stay here and study our mother's secrets. Read that diary. Sorry, it's really convenient that these people write down all the evil shit that they're doing in the diary. And keep it within reach for everyone. Good thing everyone's documenting this, because... Otherwise, how, how would we know? We wouldn't. We, we wouldn't. It'd be all speculation. <laughs> Get up them stairs. I also like using Hex, too, by the way. Just because it kind of keeps guys off me. Horrify, same diff. Alright, get out of here. Ah, oh, damn. I thought that noise is ridiculous. It's so funny. Yes, yes it does. However, will we get in? What? How is that guy alive? What the fuck is that? How do people normally get in this cathedral? Like, is there stairs somewhere that were here that are just gone? Or is this just like how this is just part of the architecture? They're just going to be like, you know what? Giant hole right here. Yeah, it's going to damage the foundation for sure. Swing from the chandelier. All dead. You guys want the chandelier too? Well, no one's there. What a letdown. What a letdown. There you go. Yeah, taste that chandelier, bitch. No one? Damn it. Hooah, y'all. I love the traps in this game. It's so funny. I love how it just kills in one hit regardless of, like, what difficulty level. It's like, yeah, these guys normally take, like, my strongest skill to hit him for, like, 10 billion to kill him, but nah, fucking chandelier. You keep the dead trapped here. Akarat, save me. Oh, how convenient. He dies right after he tells me when he needs to. <sighs> kill the eels or the worms or whatever. Alright, let's go. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Probably find the old guy, and that, I guess, is probably where I'll call it for this one. I don't know how long that'll take. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll do some editing, some splitting, you know. You know the deal. Whew! Do the doll. Chandelier! Yeah! Two trap kills. New event. Alright, sure, why not? I actually don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, because I kinda have to get around to all these guys in order to kill them. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill these guys here. Just I gotta I gotta get around and hit them all with uh Jade Harvester, because my pets aren't really gonna do jack shit. Everyone gather around. No! Oh, just barely. Wow. That was really, really lucky on me at my part. Alright, see if I can't kill all these guys real quick. Nope. Shit. Shit! No! My cooldowns. I need, I need to reduce my cooldowns, too. That would definitely help. Did I still get it? How did I still get that? Jeez. Nice. Okay, all those guys are dead. All those guys are dead. We might, we might do this one too. All those guys are dead. Yeah. And that guy's dead. All right, not too shabby. I'm actually surprised I'm able to do this slightly. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it right here because I got to kill a lot of guys. Really, 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 really fast here. Can we get it? No! Oh, I got close. I got close. The time's right. I said I cleared five waves. But maybe, maybe I cleared all the way, so I just didn't do it in the time limit. That's all right. That's life. Ah, damn it. Ah, like I mentioned before, I'm pretty pumped about the, uh, the Necromancer class. I don't know about you guys. That'll be really fun to actually have a new class to play with and stuff. It's been a while. It, I think it'll kind of revitalize the game a little bit for a lot of people who have been taking kind of prolonged breaks. Why does my guy feel so goddamn slow right now? Like, so slow. Jesus Christ. Die, yeah. 
I, I can see how that brick wall could maybe kill him one hit, but even so, like, I mean, if you think about what my spells are doing, you would think that that would just be like one hit kill too. But whatever. Whatever. Dead. Ow. Did you hit me with your spiky thing? I don't even want to know what that is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little, a little too fast for my liking. Thing. Not ready yet. Well, fucking use haunt then. How about that? Bats. Bats. Go, let's go. Is this it? Just fucking bats? Where is the leader of these bats? Where is... Batman. I don't know. That'd be hilarious. They like... He was like an Easter egg or something. God damn it! I just need to go the right way. How about that? You can cleanse these nuts for all I care, but I just need to go the right way. How how did you dodge that uh, freaking jade harvester there? Impressive. Nah, I did. I went the wrong way. Sons of bitches. My GPS is a little off, you know. Really? Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, right in the grundles. Let's go. Let's go. Just gotta kill all these mofos. I think we're trying to get down into the cathedral a tiny bit, because I'm pretty sure that's where Deckard Kane is. Like, shortly after you complete this first little area here. Yes, yes it is. Call that chandelier. Oh, I really wanted to be over there. Kill, like, all those guys at once. <sighs> Dead. Death. Die. Really? Not ready yet. What do you mean, not ready yet? I could do it anyways. Yeah, how's that guy floating there? Magic? Oh, it's a bat. Okay, tech, tech, all right, that's fine. I mean, he was transformed into a pig thing, but he's still a bat at heart, so I guess his flying still qualifies. Whatever. Here we go. Camper. He's hiding behind the goddamn thing. He's waiting for me. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Back. The skeleton king. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. Wait, what are you gonna do with his bones, though? Are you gonna make them into more skeletons? I think Deckard Kane could take a hit, because these guys do a lot of damage considering this is Torment 13. Kane, I, will <laughs> I will aid you. Stay yes. Back. Stay back! Is he talking to me or the, the skeletons? Like, I won't help you if you don't want it. I mean, that's entirely up to you. Alright, I just need to hit this guy with my thing. There we go. And dead. Okay. Nice! What you got to say, boy? Thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? Because you needed my help. Come, I must return you to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. She misses you greatly. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Oh, really? You didn't, you didn't think to tell anyone else that secret passage, though? You ain't think? Follow me to Tristram. To Tristram. You ain't you ain't think to just like, you know, tell me about the secret passage or Leia? I have kept my word to Leia and rescued her uncle Cain. I pulled him from the clutches of the skeleton king, who still holds the fallen star. Just talk to Leia. Uncle, you're alive. Thanks to you and your friend here. I seek your wisdom. Tell me of the fallen star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Nice! Did my paragon go up too? Aw, oh, yeah. Let's go, uh, I feel kind of slow out there. I don't know what's up with that. 
Don't know, don't know. Let's go, uh, eh, more life, sure. We got two. Area damage. You already know how I did area damage. This shit is good. Well, I think this is a good place to end it, so I'm gonna end this video here, guys. We rescued this old fart who somehow wandered down into the thing, and there's a passage that he didn't feel the need to tell anyone. I don't know. Anyway, when I come back, we're gonna pick this up right here. We're gonna talk to this guy. He's gonna give us our next activity. I'm sure we're gonna be on the quest to hunt the Skeleton King, so thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, drop a like on the video, guys. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions, if you guys want to see me play something specific in this game or any other games you guys have seen on my channel. I'm open for suggestions. I need suggestions. It's gonna help pump out more material. The more suggestions you give, the more videos I make, so keep that in mind, and thanks so much, guys. Until next time, see ya!